Okay, as you may have guessed by the title, um, this is all about, well, well, those of us in the transgender community would call dead name. That refers to the name that you were given at birth, but you no longer use because obviously it's not going to work. It doesn't fit the image. Unless you're one of those lucky people who just happens to be given a birth name that was genderless in a way, I guess. So it works either way and you're happy with it, then you don't really have to stress over it. Which, looking back, may have been a very nice thing to get, but unfortunately I didn't. And no, I'm not going to tell you what my old name used to be, because it's embarrassing. And doesn't suit me whatsoever. Eesh. Yeah, but needless to say, it's funny how uh, words can either make you feel good about yourself or feel like absolute trash. And hearing that old name actually makes me feel like absolute trash. It kind of is almost an instant depressive, if you will. It doesn't help me none whatsoever. Now this is where it gets really stupid. I obviously have a sister, a mother, my father's somewhere, don't care, don't want to know, he's that kind of person. Um, I have an older brother who's over east on the opposite side of the country to me. Again, he's just left, didn't want to keep in contact, so fair enough. Uh, he doesn't know about this, as far as I understand. And anyway, over the past week, my niece came over to visit. And um, first thing out of words was Uncle Lot. And it was like, oh, fuck no. Oh, God, no. Yeah, so let's put it this way. Dead names are not good things. I do have a little project that I would so love to do, and when I do it I will actually record the steps I do to make it and then I'll show you guys. It is relating to dead name and it is quite funny or symbolic or however you want to look at it. Um, but it's a little headstone type thing with here lies the name, um, reborn as new name. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's a bit more well, it's not really more, but it's getting rid of the past that some people, family, my family, can't grow up and get over. <sighs> Which, yeah, as I was saying to a friend, it's really strange how um, family members, when they get married, they change their last name, and I have to accept that. I have to go... So you're such and such now. Okay. Yet I changed my name a long time ago. And they can't accept that they still call me by that old name. Ugh. I wish I could t I don't want to. I can't. I can't tell you guys what it is. It's just too embarrassing. Let's put it this way. I hate hearing it. Couldn't say it. Every time I tried to say it, it just felt stupid on my tongue. However, I can say Lena till the cows come home. That just rolls out the tongue, comes out the mouth nicely, it feels right. I would say it looks great, but it's, it's sound. Sound has no visual representation. <sighs> yeah, but um, as you can tell, it's coming up to Christmas. And, um, yeah, I really hate the time of year, because family, get together, guess who gets called that name again? And around strangers as well, it's just embarrassing. I mean, it's something they should have switched over like 13 years ago, but never did. Yeah, anyway, I thought I'd share that with you guys. 
So if you know anybody who's transgender, actually, don't ask them what their old name used to be. It's kind of meaningless. Some people will freely volunteer that as maybe shock value so that you can get, oh, that's what your old name, including old pictures and stuff. They might do it for shock value. They might do it because they are comfortable in doing so. Me, no. <laughs> oh, no. Hell, no. As I said, it doesn't come off the tongue easily. I have to show somebody a piece of old ID or something if I've still got it. And yeah, I'm not doing that right now. No. Ugh. Can't do it. It. Ugh. So, as I was saying, if you know anyone who's transgender, don't call them their old name. Just treat them as the person you met or the person that's in front of you right now. Um, even. Yeah. It's, yeah, quite hurtful. Anyway. So, how you doing? All good? No? Tell me in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget if you haven't, hit subscribe if you want to see more of this mayhem. Um, hit like if you understood the video. Maybe leave a comment if you've got any questions about dead name. Which sounds a bit strange, but that's what it is. Unfortunately, I can't really bury it, because they never gave me a piece of paper to say, this is now no longer you. <laughs> Thank you.